You have been observing and involved in Conservative Party politics and Conservative thinking for quite a number of years. And you've watched Conservative leaders come and go and you've praised some and you've damned others. How does Boris Johnson now look as a leader and how do you assess his position? Is he in control of his own parliamentary party? Can he bounce back? How do you see it, Anne? I think he may well be able to bounce back because that is part of being Boris. Boris bounces. Uh, but if you look back to the original Boris, to the Boris who became prime minister, uh, who was so confident in what he was doing, um, was so buccaneering, if you like, prepared to take risks, uh, that he ordered all those vaccines, you know, way, way ahead of the EU, got Britain into a really good position of being ahead of everybody else, took maximum advantage of Brexit to be able to do that. Uh, and uh, that was Boris going for it. And the big thing is he actually ordered so many of those vaccines before they were even approved. I mean, this was Boris, Boris at his determined best. But I think getting COVID actually had a much greater effect on him than, than people realise. He now appears to be all over the place. Um, that buccaneering uh, attitude is gone. Uh, and one feels that instead of being in charge of events, he's now being blown about by events. Yeah, I have to say, I rather agree with that. It's sort of almost more like followership than it is leadership. I wondered, when he shuffled his notes and said, forgive me three times, a couple of years ago, he'd have laughed that off. And I, I just wondered whether perhaps he might have just lost his confidence a little bit. I'm sure he has lost his confidence, and I'm pretty certain also that it was down to COVID. Um, and, uh, you know, so he was suddenly hit by this massive national emergency that nobody had foreseen a global emergency for that matter. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, I think he was quite badly knocked off course. Uh, and I think his confidence has taken a knock. Now, as I say, Barrett Boris is very, very capable of bouncing back, but he's in trouble at the moment. And yeah. I think this is a time for thinking. And I don't think enough thought uh, uh, comes out of number 10. Uh, for example, the migrant situation that we talked about, you know, that all you get is umpteen initiatives announced, which are never actually followed through. None of them happen. And a tendency to blame everybody else except ourselves. Well, we're responsible for who arrives on our shores. Come on.